and welcome. You're watching AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. I am Adirayo Senami. Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari has received commendation for his decision to implement the Stephen Orosomi Report of 2014. The Chairman of the Human and Environmental Development Agenda, Mr. Olarinwaju Suraju, in a statement released over the weekend, said the decision to revisit the Orosomi report, which focused on merging various government agencies to cut the cost of governance, is a commendable move, adding that the country needs a strategic intervention that will include reduction of government bar titles and slashing of salaries and emoluments of politicians. The former President of the United States, George W. Bush, has called for an end to partisanship in the nation's battle against the coronavirus disease. The former president urged Americans to remember that empathy and simple kindness are essential power tools of national recovery. The Adamawa State Governor Ahmadu Fintiri, during the briefing with journalists in Yola, the state capital, on Sunday, said one of the two COVID-19 patients who escaped from an isolation facility in Gombe have been arrested in Adamawa. According to the governor, the patients escaped before results of their samples arrived from the nation's capital. Abuja. The United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund is supporting social mobilization efforts by the Lagos State Government in Nigeria to prepare communities to protect themselves from the coronavirus. To achieve this, the fund has adopted a three-pronged strategy to support community and social mobilization efforts by the government. These three methods combined are reaching millions at a time with life-saving messages designed to keep them safe from contracting coronavirus disease. Still on the pandemic, the Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Dr. Chikwe Hekwazu, on Sunday said the agency has confirmed that most COVID-19 infections in Abuja, Lagos and Kano states are as a result of community transmission. Dr. Hekwazu attributed the rising figure of confirmed coronavirus cases to an increase in testing capacity. Meanwhile, international students who are on lockdown at the University of Botswana have received food hampers worth more than 40,000 pula from various donors, which include Sir Ketumile Masiri Foundation, the AAP Home Based Care and Family Life Care Program, as well as the Embassy of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Over 115 international students are currently accommodated at the main campus of the University of Botswana after the Southern African country imposed a 28-day lockdown from the 3rd of April following the outbreak of COVID-19. We take a short break now. More stories when we return. Do stay tuned. Hi, I am Angel. And in this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, I would like to share a few tips with you. First and foremost, if you have nothing serious to do, please, please stay at home. Secondly, Always wash your hands under running water with soap. Be sure to sanitize your hands as much as possible. If you're going to cough or sneeze, be sure to use a tissue, handkerchief, or in the absence of any of them, you can use the inside of the elbows. Dispose of all tissues and wipes properly in a covered bin. Avoid public gatherings as much as possible. And if you do have to go out, to wear a face mask and practice social distancing, maintaining at least six feet from the next person. Finally, if you exhibit any symptoms, please consult a doctor immediately. COVID-19 is not a death sentence. Together, we can fight this pandemic. This message is brought to you by Ted Fund. Welcome back. South Africa's Minister of Health, Zweli Mkize, on Sunday announced that the number of coronavirus cases in the country has increased by 447, with eight more deaths bringing the death toll to 131. He added that the total number of cases in the country is currently 6,783, although more than 2,500 people have since recovered from the disease. A security guard has been arrested in Kimberley, South Africa, for allegedly shooting a customer who wanted to enter a shop without wearing a face mask. Police spokesperson Mohao Ramatseba says the suspect has been charged with attempted murder is expected to appear at the Kuruman Magistrates Court this Monday. A group of researchers at the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Undo State, Nigeria, 
led by Nathaniel Fagbemi, a professor of food science technology, has recommended the regular consumption of a blend of cocoa, zobo and ginger beverage, which has the potential to boost immunity against communicable diseases and viruses. According to the researchers, the beverage possesses high antioxidants and shows potential as a health security beverage that can generally strengthen the immune system. In a similar development, a medical expert, Dr. Dennis Castro, has revealed that prolonged use of masks causes hypoxia. He recommends that masks be used only if one has someone very close to you, and it is important to lift the mask every 10 minutes to maintain healthy oxygen levels. Bishop Sam Zuga from Nigeria is set to officially launch the first mobile communication app in Africa called Sam Zuga Chat, which he says it is designed to work exactly or even better than other communication apps like WhatsApp. Zuga, in a statement, said the event, which is slated to hold by 10 a.m. this Tuesday, the 5th of May 2020, also being his 49th birthday, will take place at the Sam Zuga Foundation office. In observance of physical distancing, the launch will host only 20 people and live coverage will be made available on its official Facebook page. And that's it in 84 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. You can join the conversation on our website at www.84tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at 84 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at 84 TV Radio. Many thanks for watching. I am Adirayo Senami.